ain't no stopping, I'm coming home. The 2013 season would be a historic one for the Arkansas Razorbacks. The preseason pick to finish fourth in the SEC West, the Razorbacks would band together to establish themselves as a team to be reckoned with. A three-game sweep of 22nd-ranked Georgia was the turning point in the season. The Razorback offense broke out in that series, hitting seven home runs and plating 18 runs. There's a drive back to the wall. It's gone. Arkansas wins again. A walk-off grand slam. Well, the Arkansas pitchers limited the Bulldogs to just six runs. Games, I thought we played a high. Uh, level of defense, high uh, quality uh, level of catch, and just really super uh, excited for our team. And uh, they're, they're working hard, and we're going to continue to work hard as a, as a program. Um, it's a long haul, and uh, we've got a lot of the great things ahead of us. A win over 13th ranked LSU kept the momentum going and carried over as they won a road series at 8th ranked Missouri, capped by a dramatic win in the series finale. That one kicks up the line, and Arkansas takes the lead as Navarro scores. Hit to left, down the line. Summerford is there. Arkansas holds on to win at 11-10. Following a home series win over Kentucky, the Razorbacks debuted in the top 25 for the first time in school history. Now ranked, Arkansas hit the road again to face the second-ranked Tennessee Lady Vols. Second baseman has it coming home. Nothing there. Gibson tried to stop the run. She comes home, doesn't get the out. Arkansas gets the first run of the game. In the air, and that one will not drop. Canfield comes in to get the short fly ball. And Arkansas has come to Knoxville and stop Tennessee's 19 game winning streak. It is just the Razorbacks second win ever here at Lee Stadium. Kimmy Beasley goes the distance as Arkansas wins it two to one. The remainder of the series was rained out, but the Razorbacks were rolling and they capped off the regular season with a sweep of Auburn. Heisberg gets set for the slow pitch. Here it is. Rambo swings it, puts it in play, past the first baseman, and Devin Wallace comes home to score. Arkansas wins it 8 7 in extra innings. The 24th ranked Razorbacks then turn their attention to the postseason with a second consecutive appearance in the NCAA tournament. Peace runner on. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Hard hit line yeah. drive. That's going to score Canfield. Rambo going to advance to second on the throw there. There they would record a pair of wins in the regional before being eliminated by the soon-to-be national champion, Oklahoma. In the end, the 2013 team set nine new offensive school records en route to the highest winning percentage in school history. Not only did they finish second in the tough SEC West and earn the program's first top 25 ranking, they defeated a school record nine ranked teams to finish the year ranked 24th with a 36 and 20 record. Sophomore Kimmy Beasley was named to the All SEC second team, while fellow sophomore Devin Wallace was a two time SEC Player of the Week and led the Southeastern Conference in on base percentage and drew an SEC record 79 walks. Freshman Stephanie Canfield posted the highest batting average in school history, hitting 381. And senior Hope McLemore was named an academic All-American. All nine defensive starters returned to be joined by a cast of talented newcomers in 2014, as the Razorbacks look to build and elevate the foundation laid by the outstanding team of 2013.